Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another reaction video. We got the Chicago Bears have had the perfect offseason. Let's check this out. You're walking into something like which they, they technically have, bro. I mean, they got their franchise guy, you know what I'm saying? They put all the talent around him that they, that he could possibly need, you know what I'm saying? With Keenan Allen, um, they draft Romo Dunze, they signed um, DeAndre Swift, AJ Moore was already there, they already got Cole Komet. That offense is going to be definitely. Definitely scary, bro. The, the NFC North is going to be wild this year. Went from the it Packers dominating it every year. Went from the Packers dominating it every year to, um, you know what I'm saying, to possibly all the teams having a chance to win that division besides the Vikings. I don't think the Vikings are going to have the chance to win that um the division this year, but NFL draft, you know what I'm saying? One name stood head and shoulders above the rest. Caleb Williams. Historically being drafted by the Chicago Bears has often been like a curse. Like this this situation is this is where quarterbacks have gone to die. Like you look at Chicago, there hasn't been a lot of success. And the bad thing is, L, you show that clip of pace and you show him saying, this is our quarterback. I can rewind to several drafts ago and I got the same thing about Mitchell Trubisky and him mm. being our guy. But this year, that He's narrative point, is He's completely going to change. Williams, hailed as the most promising quarterback prospect in years, steps into an undoubtedly loaded offense for the first overall selection. I think the Chicago Bears are a team that will ascend, they should ascend offensively. Not only do you have Allen, Swift, DJ Moore, a doomsday, but they do different things. Like Keenan Allen, he's not taking the top off of a defense, but eight to 12 yards, he's getting busy. Then DJ Moore, he's taking the top off a of defense. Mm -hmm. Then a doomsday can do a little bit of everything in between. He'll attack the middle of the field. Yep. Then you have Komet, you have- Like I said, a doomsday was the most well-rounded receiver coming out of this draft did. class. The rare composition of star power- That's what, that's what made him my, my favorite receiver just coming out. the stage for Williams to become the greatest quarterback in franchise history in his very first season. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking Talking about what the Bears have done not only in the draft but in free agency and building up to this season in order to make it so that way Caleb Williams is walking into the greatest situation ever. When Chicago traded away their first overall selection to Carolina in 2023, they couldn't have imagined it working out the way it did. Not only did they get DJ Moore in the ability to draft a top five offensive tackle with the pick they got in return, but the future first rounder turned into a golden ticket that could transform the fortunes of the franchise. Yeah. That golden ticket was the first overall selection in 2024, which landed them the prized asset that is Caleb Williams. The Bears were a 7 1 team with fields, 5 and 3 the last 8. I don't know that Caleb has to come in there and be Superman. Yeah. I think Caleb mm -hmm. can come in there and be an above average player. And with that talent on that roster, and those should be the expectations. I don't think he has to yeah. carry them. Well, and just straight up, there has not been a quarterback prospect so unanimously loved as William for years. And for him to fall into the laps of the Chicago Bears in the way that he did is luck beyond belief. We believe at this table that Caleb Williams was better than yes. Andrew Luck coming out of college. Coming out of college. Oh, on the current I'm prototype, that's, I would that's, say, bro, that's yes, kind of crazy to say, know, ain't uh, it? On top of that, though, I mean, Caleb Williams was great, but like, bro, Andrew Luck was on a whole use, different level. They turned into Romo Dunze, a super talented X receiver who completes one of the most fearsome wide receiver trios in the NFL. This is a wide receiver that can actually do everything. Yeah. And now you're adding him to a wide receiver room with Keenan Allen, who's a magician at the line of scrimmage, and DJ Moore, who's an all-around wide receiver. Hey, Caleb Williams has it. a really good that research. And as we all know, for many years, the Chicago Bears have been pretty much the laughing stock of the NFC North. And I honestly really do think that that's about to all change and get blown up and that the Bears might even make the playoffs this year in such a tough division that is the oh. NFC North. Like hell, I seriously mean this, all four of the teams in the NFC North are legit playoff contenders. And that's including the Bears, who could even win the division, I'd say. After the painful experience of welcoming Justin Fields into the NFL with very little to work with, the Chicago Bears have learned their lessons and have gone out of their way to load up with talent for Williams. Romo Dunze will be very enticing for him for years to come, but in DJ Moore and Keenan Allen, Williams benefits from two dynamic playmakers already at the top of their game. It's not 
too dissimilar for what Joe Burrow got to work Ooh. with, with Jamar Chase yeah. T. Yeah. Higgins. Only and Tyler Boyd Caitlin gets to play behind a much better offensive yeah. line than Burrow did. But when we talk about situations, number one overall picks. I mean, um, this is kind I, of a similar um, all three of them, but really more. You know what I'm saying? Uh, spot where Burrow was at, but um, was the difference is Caleb Williams has veteran receivers up, that he's dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Plus the young rookie. Somebody is going to get single coverage, and I would not want to be a defense trying to figure out which, which of one? these guys are you going to man up against? I'm glad we ain't got to play, play the Bears this year. Never thought I, bro, never thought I would ever say that shit again. And I mean, an Allen Whatever. Williams has one of the best route runners in the league at his size in the NFL. And it's safe yeah. to say that this dangerous duo will help make life easy for Williams transferring into the NFL. And not only helping Williams too, but also being great mentors to help Odunze develop and just become a better receiver too. Like it's safe to say that this is a wide receiver trio that is going to dominate the league for years to come and not only that but put the team in a position to win right now like i mean just looking at this roster and those three wide receivers alone if they manage to stay healthy i really don't know how any team is going to game plan for those three wide receivers yep. especially when you take into account caleb williams's ability to reach every inch of the field from all sorts of crazy angles and, like, and his own um, last year cj impro Stroud improvising as well bro greatest rookie seasons we had ever seen from a rookie quarterback and i mean could we see the same thing happen with caleb williams in 2024 i think just personally for me one of the greatest assets that caleb williams also has and that really every star-studded quarterback in the league has is a star tight end and in cole Komet, he put a career year out in 2023 registering 719 yards and six touchdowns at the tight end position he offers up another big target for williams to aim at and with gerald everett coming from los angeles to add well, they got Gerald Everett too. Jared Everett is, de just this is passing um, game decent, that bro. Received a boost in Chicago. The running game Gerald did too. Is very After decent. securing his first season with 1,000 rushing yards, DeAndre Swift brings his versatile skill set to Chicago. He will immediately slot Damn. into the starting running back role while also posing a threat as a pass catcher out of the backfield. He averaged 353 receiving yards across his first four seasons in the league, giving Williams yet another target in the passing game. Whether he is sending the ball deep, firing missiles over the middle or checking down to his running backs caleb williams has a very talented playmaker group around him to work with at the entry yeah. level like i mean it is such a truly unique situation for a number one overall pick to find himself in and one that should make chicago bears fans very excited and that hell, should look like, weird as hell watching lips move inside like of the mouth of the um, who i don't really know is going to be that good for the commanders could succeed in this offense but luckily the bears have williams and they're expecting so much more out of him the consensus number one overall pick has all the talent to suggest that a hall of fame career is on the cards especially when you take into consideration the weapons at his disposal and i get people don't want to like i said williams before bro he could have he a cj stroud type rookie football, year but there is reason that williams regularly received pro but possibly even Patrick better with the weapons he's got i know it all looks good on paper but great he is. bro like he how could you not be excited to watch like the bears play this year tape on it's like yeah this wasn't perfect <laughs> this wasn't perfect this wasn't how you would do that but the ability to play make is an ability mm -hmm. and i think that's what got caleb to this point he possesses truly elite arm talent and damn bro getting stiff arm by qb is crazy to and then just watch him dot you up like situations that. he makes off platform throws with ease and is much better at playing in structure than people give him credit for like the guy is as pro ready as you could ever ask for in a rookie and his transition into life as a pro has been made easier because of the bears commitment to surrounding him with damn talent. the arrival of new offensive coordinator shane waldron is also good news for Williams, hopefully offering a considerable upgrade over Luke Getze. Waldron oversaw Jared Goff's best two years as the Rams passing game coordinator and then called the shots during Geno Smith's revival in Seattle. In Waldron's offense in 2022, Smith led the league in completion percentage and posted 4,282 yards and 30 touchdowns, which was good enough to win him the comeback player of the year award. Like it's yeah. safe to say Waldron certainly knows what he is doing with quarterback 
Halifax and is a fantastic man to take charge of the early years of Caleb Williams' development. And one thing that I think a lot of people aren't mentioning is how really Caleb Williams has the opportunity to rival a rookie season that CJ Stroud had last year. Exactly like in what I said, bro. Situations, and I mean, I know the talent last year for the Texans wasn't as good as it was for the Bears this year, but the fact that Stroud elevated those guys is exactly what I expect Caleb Williams to do with the guys around him too. Like given the fact that DJ Moore and Keenan Allen are already superstar wide receivers, the potential for Caleb Williams to hit the ground running and then elevate those two guys even more is very likely. And one quick thing before we start, I wanted to celebrate, I wanted to do this as a fan for now, if Caleb Williams can handle this transition into the NFL, I mean, then they have the personnel to go out there and win games. Williams is already the clear favorite to win the Offensive Rookie of the Year award. I mean, but well, of course, bro, he's number one overall pick. And put them in the you expect in that. One, a much bigger prize could be on the way. Like last year, we were all thinking it was CJ Stroud possibly being an MVP candidate. Before he got if hurt. Caleb Williams does the exact same thing, then why couldn't he be a candidate? The future certainly is bright for Chicago fans, which is not something that we've been able to say much before. Somehow, despite being one of the oldest franchises in the NFL history, Chicago really has never been able to join an extended stay from a franchise quarterback. The history of the position for the team is highlighted by the likes of Jay Cutler, Jim Jay McMahon, Cutler, and bro. Eric Kramer, with that players like horrific. Mitch Trubisky and Justin Fields failing to come in and become the savior the franchise so desperately needs. And the next man up to break that curse is Caleb Williams. Williams. And I mean, it's just so hard to not see Caleb Williams come in and get the job done. The dude is just generational talent. As a result of the lackluster play to come before Love him, him or hate him, bro, you like you gotta no respect his talent for if and what he's been able to do, you know what I'm saying, on the team. field and shit. The single season rookie record for passing yards is only 2,193 yards, which was set by Mitchell Trubisky not too long ago. That's I mean, crazy. astonishingly, you have to go all the way back to 1942 to find the rookie record for single season passing touchdowns. Yo! Oh, bro, that the damn, bro, the Bears were touchdowns. suffering. That's right. Since 1942, no rookie quarterback has thrown more than 11 touchdowns for the Chicago Bears. And now I know you're probably like, well, those aren't very hard to reach. So let's look at the single season records just in general for all Chicago Bears quarterbacks. These honestly make a little bit more sense as a slightly more realistic target for Caleb Williams. Eric Kramer is the proud holder of the Only single 3, season record. He can definitely break that with them. With 3,838 yards. With the weapons he's got. It's crazy that Justin Fields didn't crack nowhere Williams near that shit. Joining, smashing both oh, of his records is very much on the table in 2024. There is no Bro, definitely needs a haircut. Into a like, damn, at least get like a shape up or something, gang. Like on the sides, get a fade. In year one. Something, bro. An NFC North division that is absolutely Somebody say he looked homeless. The Detroit Lions look to be the second best team in the NFC at the moment narrowly missing out on a trip to the Super Bowl in 2023. Behind the Lions is the Packers who appear to have done a good job developing Jordan Love behind Aaron Rodgers and supporting him with his own talented cast of playmakers. After the Packers, you have Minnesota who benefit from the services of the best wide receiver in the league for now at least, leading an intimidating passing attack that has hopefully just found their quarterback of the future. The reality is that there is talent all over this division and every team has a reason to be excited for the future. The good news for Chicago, though, is that even though they were able to add all of this talent to their list of losses that they lost in free agency and other places, too, is not as big as the other teams. Cody Whitehair and Eddie Jackson headline a short list of departing players, meaning the majority of the band have stayed together. Mm. That is the good news, particularly on defense, where the defensive Jaquan line made Brisker. real progress in 20. Whoa, Chicago this nigga hit that Spider-Man. Hold up now. Made real progress in 20. Yeah, okay, that shit was sick. Bro, doing that shit in pads has got to be hard as fuck, bro. Allowed Holy. Was tied for third best. There are still question marks over the team's ability to put pressure on the quarterback, but the arrival of Montez Sweat via trade halfway through last year at least gives them a dominant force coming from the edge. In the secondary, Jalen Johnson signed a four-year $76 million extension to lock in one of the most important defensive players at a crucial position. And he headlines an 
exciting secondary that also features Kyler Gordon, Tyreek Stevenson, and Jaquan Brisker. And with only five picks in the 2024 draft, the team completely I thought it was only to go four. all in on the offensive side of the ball, using all of their picks except for one on the offensive side. The selections of Caleb Williams and Romo Dunze alone make it one of the better draft hauls of the year, but there will need to be some attention given to the defense in 2025. With teams like Detroit, Green Bay, and Minnesota all boasting electric offenses, Chicago will need to bolster their ranks if they are to legitimately compete in the division. When it comes to team progression over the last couple of years, there are not many that can rival the Chicago Bears. After the struggles experienced by Justin Fields and frankly, every other quarterback to take the field for the Bears, the front office decided enough was enough. They've not just loaded up on the roster to make his life as easy as possible, they have overcompensated and made sure that Caleb Williams will have everything he could possibly need to succeed. Wherever this kid looks as he drops back to pass, Williams will see only playmakers. Lessons have been learned in Chicago and the future is certainly bright if you are a Chicago Bears fan. But I want to know what you guys think. How good do you think the Bears are this year? Where do you yeah, think they're they going to finish? They might win the division, the division me, bro. Like I think they're probably going like, to finish. Not just that, but I feel like they can be a playoff team. Like I think they're going to have like at most I feel like they're going to have what 10 wins, you know what I'm saying, and make the playoffs. But it's going to be tough because of the, the, the division that they're in with the NFC North with Lions, Packers, Vikings, shit like that. But um hey man, what do you guys think about this? Second, I know you I Bears fans are happy as shit that right now. 12 wins that a lot of people are thinking they're going to get to. I think they're more of like a 10 or a 9 win team that's going to sneak into the playoffs. But again, if Caleb Williams can get that done in his first year, why can't the kid be in the conversation for MVP? But let me know down in the comment section what your guys' predictions are for the Bears. I want to know what you guys think. And as always, I will catch Hey, bro. I want to know what you guys think. Y'all let me know down in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, turn on my post notifications. Get notified when I drop another banger video. One roll to 200 subs. Help me get that from our banger NFL content like this. Without further ado, I'm out. Gang!